disclaimer of what this video is and what this video is not. Um, I want to make sure that people understand that most of you are here because you've followed me for a very long time, some of you over four years, and you know, you know how we look at things and what, what kind of patterns we see and what kind of things we have actually called in the past. Uh, CV was one of them, and we used uh, publicly available information to show you that obviously they were preparing for something massive. Uh, we have shown you that same thing, only this time uh, it, it, I believe, is a much bigger event, and it's a show that will be seen across the planet. Uh, but I also want to declare that, obviously, if you're here, that's because you have looked me out, you have searched me out, you're not here because, uh, you're, you're either here because somebody brought you here, or you're here because you are typing in my name and you're finding me. Uh, so, you know, for the information here, if you want to call it fear this, fear that, uh, then that means you are afraid. Most of us are trying to prepare and be the opposite of afraid of anything that is about to happen because we're not going to be blindsided. I believe if there is a WW3 and you can say that, you know, most people kind of know what's going on. They think about what is happening in mainstream and they go, oh, yeah, in the back of the head, uh, they think, you know, oh, well, that's a possibility. But even though with all of the information that is shooting out right now, uh, people are still going to be blindsided if the, the actual event is declared and we do start a world conflict that is something that will be put in history books. People will be completely caught off guard. Uh, there's a huge chunk of people that don't even know what's going on. And that's pretty crazy considering how much coverage every all of this stuff has gotten, how much ganda is going around, and how much information is being kind of misconstrued and everything else. So with that out of the way, I do want to say uh, there was obviously a speech uh, in the last 24 hours. A lot of these don't say exactly when it is because we're looking at a time across the planet. In fact, right now in Vlad country, it is, uh, I, I believe, a little bit after 9 a.m. So it is May 9th in uh, Vlad country. It is their victory day, as they call it. And there is a lot of talk about them declaring an official conflict with UKR, with the U.S., and with Europe. At least uh, a few are saying that at least uh, UKR, that they would be uh, declaring this conflict with them. Uh, what I will say is when I heard uh, the speech that he gave and the actual quotes, uh, it made my stomach drop. Uh, again, I'll, I'll just read you a kind of an, uh, uh, an insert from this, but it says, Today, our soldiers, as their ancestors, are fighting side by side to liberate their native land from the N-A-Z-I filth with the confidence that, as in 1945, victory will be ours. Just that part alone, when you look at that, you can definitely see uh, where this is headed, right? It says, today is our common duty to prevent the rebirth of what Adolf did, which caused so much suffering to the peoples of different countries, said Vlad. He had that he hoped that new generations may be worthy of the memory of their fathers and grandfathers. Now, most people take everything that's said and through the media filter, they say, oh, saber rattling, saber rattling, saber rattling. Saber rattling is what they have done for years. Now, I believe it is a lot different because now the entire world has lined up all of their ducks. We have seen military movement like we have never seen in our lifetime. And many of you that are military, we have over 500 and I would believe over 1,000 now. We used to have discord so we actually you know we we had 500 plus members that were either uh current or active or retired military now that was years ago so we probably have much more than that we have people that watch from base we have uh retirees we have vets we have everybody in here most of them say that this is different and there is a lot of reasons why we believe that it's not just looking at an article and saying this is what we think a lot of people are going day by day and they change their opinion based on what mainstream media has been saying. I have not. I believe this is coming. It's a matter of time or when or if. There are conflicting reports if today it will be declared. If you actually go to the, the people they say that are going to declare this, they are saying that it's absolute nonsense. It's not Vlad saying it. It's some of his uh, some of the people that are in charge of, of different uh, lower ranking things are saying, oh, that's complete nonsense. 
But then again, when you look at what they've said and what they've done, they're two different things. Uh, at the last second, they can say, well, that was then, this is now. And it will be like, well, that was five hours ago. Well, five hours ago, we didn't have this happen. Well, now we have an excuse to do this. Uh, second, uh, the conflicting reports are that, uh, of course, the U.S. actually helped UKR locate and sink one of their ships. Uh, now they're, they, on their side, uh, over in Vlad country, are saying that we are now denying it. There are certain things that we're saying we're denying it. After, of course, it was almost like we were advertising that we gave them some location info. As you remember, one of the red lines that was drawn was if we interfere. I would hate to say it, but giving location for one of their ships and not a long, not now two of their, their main most modernized ships, that would be interfering if it is true what they say is happening and whatever. I'm not saying I believe it, but I will say this. As things are wrote in history and every single day, we're living it as it's happening. But when you look back and you see speeches like what he just made the day before Victory Day, that is creepy. That is something that, uh, um, you know, I always tell you guys, absolutely question everything and also use your gut a lot. I would ask that everybody uh, go and read the same speech I did and say, what does your gut say about this? It creeped me down to the very core, uh, the, the things he's saying, and because he is essentially calling uh, not only UKR, but the rest of the world, we are the new NAZI, as in, in their opinion, right? In their opinion. And now we are coming up to May 9th. It is their victory day. It is 9 a.m. there. We, we will we'll follow this as close as, as we can. Today is a Monday. So we'll, or, you know, today in, in their days and, and uh, as they declare it, then it will be our, our show day. So we'll cover it. But I hope that people are understanding uh, that we have all of this massive movement going on across the planet. And then if you look at the different sources and the sources you're not allowed to see anymore, it looks like something is being planned. Whether it be them declare it or whether something happens and then it's declared or whether it looks like both people declare it, whatever it may be, just understand that there are, uh, uh, there are wins in that for certain groups of people. There are some that run this planet and run different governments that actually do want to see WW3. I don't, I think that a, a lot of the weapons companies, they most definitely uh, would love a WW3 because they'll have all the info of where to be and where not to be. As, as far as some of the comments here, I, I'll, I'll uh, have Dex because Dex is asleep. He's three hours later and most of you on the East Coast are already asleep and you'll be uh, watching the replay of this. It may have uh, his his former his formal speech may be done by then or or his second speech or whatever comments he makes today uh, may be done by the time he watches may be done now uh, was not able to find it again there's a lot of things that are now restricted you have to do a VPN to get to some of the sources that used to be publicly available which is absolutely insane information is not freely uh, flowing around the planet. And there are certain people we're not allowed to listen to anymore. So even if they don't declare today, even if they don't do any of that, and their, uh, and their side is completely right and they say, oh, it's complete nonsense, uh, then what is happening right now? Why is everybody being moved around? And this is all based on publicly visible information. We have people from all over the country sending us video of all of this stuff being moved around and placed, not like going from base to base, but actually being placed and set up and reinforcing different places. And again, not much of it public. Somebody in the comments last night said that there was 25 jets over them and not one was on flight radar, uh, a squadron of 25 jets. I think for certain drills, they can uh, turn off their thing or if they're doing something uh, legit, then they don't have to. I believe they can, they can basically uh, let whoever needs to know, know, and then leave that stuff off. But very clearly, if you follow some of the folks even on this platform that are actually following all this activity, 
it is very clear there are things happening right now. Uh, Blue Boy 1968 says, report saying doomsday plane flying above Moscow. The one thing about that is the doomsday planes do fly around a lot, especially when it's highly tense. So again, I don't think, I, I hope it is nothing big. And again, if you are afraid of this, then you're actually searching this out and maybe you're a masochist because uh, this is what we talk about and we talk about it because we want to know before it happens. We look at the patterns and we try to see if we can get any kind of advanced timing on any event that happens. And we had that. People had uh, their stuff stocked up right before CV. And I'm when I say right before, four months, three months, two months, and one month, uh, they had stuff stocked up because we saw the three-letter agencies. We saw the different graphs and the different charts and the different predictions they were putting out and the different actual monetary, uh, the, the movement of the money into certain things that would help with what happened over the last two years, right? And they're doing the same thing now. You know, people always say, follow the money. Well, if you follow the money right now, uh, it is it is all going into the military. And most think, oh, it's just to, to put it back into somebody's pocket. Well, yeah, they need an excuse uh, for why that, that money machine keeps pumping. And, and apparently over the last two years, uh, other money machines are no longer going to work because it didn't really work out too well. This is something that was predicted for absolute years, and people saw the patterns, and it wasn't just a few. It was millions of people saw these patterns, and uh, in fact, most people thought this was going to happen uh, in 2016, but it didn't. Something different happened, maybe. We don't know. But now we are, we are pretty much where everybody thought. They are going to change this world in the next eight years completely flip it on its in on its uh, head and that is a fact if you think that they can basically switch us off the petrodollar in a, a small amount of time like eight years without something major happening then <laughs> you might be smoking if uh, you think that they are going to have us in just eight years down to uh, eight ounces of meat a month like a steak would be something that, you know, you're only allowed eight ounces of steak a month. If you think that they can get us there and we're all going to be eating fake fake stuff, uh, then you might be smoking. There's a lot of goals that they have that are going to completely flip the financial system completely on its head. And if you don't believe that's coming, then that's up to you. Most of us here are going to be watching out for it and trying to just have a basic level of preparedness some of us more these kind of videos are not to scare people because who knows nothing could happen and nothing probably will happen that's how it goes but for us most of us even if we know that you know hopefully nothing happens tomorrow and they don't declare anything we feel that this is coming soon and it's it can get it can get pushed down the road, but in mo many of our opinions, it's coming. So most people should be looking at plans with their families just in case. You should be looking at what what is going on. Uh, now again, we are saying from our side in the U.S. that there's full mobilization, and that they are going to declare today, in in May 9th over there. Uh, that they are going to declare a full-scale this instead of what their country sees as a special military operation. Um, they look at this in their country. They are covering it on the media just as we would cover. I mean, honestly, like we would cover like a SEAL team going in and uh, rescuing somebody or a group of 50 soldiers going in and, and uh, you know, at, you know uh, extracting somebody. That's how they look at the entire UKR thing. That's what they're calling it. They have not officially declared. Many people don't know that. I've seen people that say that it started on the 24th. Uh, technically, if later in history, they'll say that it technically did, but they have not declared. So if they officially declare on UKR or whatever, I don't know how much that's going to change, but if they do declare and they declare uh, a conflict,
impact on us, which is what some sources are saying. Some are saying, no, this won't happen. And those are more likely that it won't happen. But why is it even being said? Why is it being pushed out? The distractions are somewhere else. Everybody's watching Johnny Depp. Everybody's watching this, watching that. So what is really happening? They're handing out uh, pamphlets where the local shelters are in Taiwan. I would say don't take your eyes off of there because uh, they are also saying a lot of stuff too. I'm going to attach different articles talking about that and how they are asking for the same treatment for Xi as Vlad got when they end up taking uh, or trying to take Taiwan or at least threatening it. Uh, so we'll talk about that on tomorrow's show. And we'll talk about all of this. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm going to attach. Uh, Dex is going to be putting it on in the morning. Georgia time. Uh, he gets up early. Uh, but it will take him a little bit to get all of the stuff linked. The first link underneath will be the show notes. That's where you'll find it. Uh, make sure to check back tomorrow. We'll link it on tomorrow's show as well. There's a lot of stuff here that I uh, would definitely have you read. And I'm assuming most of you are all you know, uh, all watching our website and looking at uh, the daily news over there and all of the web-only content and stuff over there. Um, again, go over to marfuglenews.com. If you're still with me after all this time, thank you guys. After the four years of watching these patterns, you guys already know, most of you that have been with us, that were prepared for some of this stuff, are looking at it. And if you uh, read or even listen to that speech translated, it will it will give you the creeps. You can go over to marfuglenews.com right now. If you want to support us, we're independent. You can also go to marfuglenews.com slash prep. You can get uh, long-term survival food over there if you would like. Uh, if you get it through us, you can sometimes get a discount, and then you can also give us a commission of that. That's how we earn money because we are virtually uh, on our own here. We don't have a multi-channel network, and we don't have a multi-billion dollar company behind us. We have the Fugle fam, the Marfia and uh, all of you guys. So thank you, everybody. Love you guys. Have a great night, and thanks for the supporters tonight. I'll make sure to shout you out uh, later. Wide Awake and Angry, Sonia Franco, Leon Goodson, Shannon. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everybody popping in. Make sure to share this out and uh, let people know that this is going on. Uh, when you share this out, hopefully anyone who ends up watching this goes down to the show notes and reads all of those articles that I have attached. Comparing basically the rest of the world to uh, Adolf. Scary, scary scenario where uh, very soon we might not be able to even say that. All right, you guys, have a great night. Be safe, be prepared, and make sure to subscribe to our other channel, uh, Marfugal TV, our sister channel, where we're going to be doing a live show on this, and we'll be going into all of this. Make sure to thank your mar uh, mods for making it a peaceful place down there. Thank you. Have a good night. Be safe. Be prepared. And Marf out.